What's going on, baseball fans? Jeremy Laracuente here for the Baseball Banter Broadcast. And on this broadcast, we're going to be bantering about the X Factors, the difference makers for the National League Central Division. But before I get into my list, let me know who are the difference makers who are going to be the game changing players for the 2023 season for each of the teams in the National League Central. Let me know that down in the comments or find me over on Twitter at banter underscore baseball, and we'll keep that conversation rolling. But we begin with the Chicago Cubs. Now, when you look at the Chicago Cubs, one player to me truly stands out, and it is Cody Bellinger. I think that when you look at the last couple of seasons that Cody has had, they have not been very well played in terms of his offensive ability. We have seen a big time regression from this player. Now, by all indications, he is now fully healthy, a couple seasons removed now from that injury that he suffered during the 2020 World Series. To me, this is going to be a huge season for Cody Bellinger. I think that when you look at a change of scenery, uh, a difference in philosophy in the way that the Cubs kind of approach things as compared to the Dodgers, I think this is going to be a monster season for Cody Bellinger. And in that case, and for that reason, he is the X factor for the Chicago Cubs. Now, when we look at the Cincinnati Reds, to me, Jonathan India is the guy that stands out to me as the X factor. I think that there's not going to be a lot that goes right for Cincinnati in the year 2023. But I think that one such player, one such thing that will go right is seeing Jonathan India bounce back to that rookie of the year form that he had a couple of seasons ago. I think that there's going to be an opportunity for him to really cement himself as one of the best young players, one of the best second basemen in all of Major League Baseball. I think that there is a lot to like about this player. And to me, 2023 is going to be the season where he really kind of puts it all together and becomes one of the best young players in Major League Baseball. Now, as we look at the Milwaukee Brewers, the X factor to me is Jesse Winker. Now, the last time we saw Winker play extremely well in baseball, it was in this National League Central Division. His one season with the Seattle Mariners did not go as expected. It did not go well, and hence the reason that they moved on. Jerry DePoto is, as I've coined in the past, a vitamin GM with a one-a-day trade kind of mentality. But moving Jesse Winker, in my opinion, is going to be a very good move for Winker. This is a division that he knows very well, ballparks that he is very familiar with. But the other thing about it is, is that I think that he's going to go back to somewhat familiar settings and get back to being that all-star caliber player that he was just a couple of seasons ago. For me, for the Milwaukee Brewers, this is one of the few players that they actually added. Yes, they traded away Colton Wong, who was had to get an upgrade in terms of his contract, his payroll. That's kind of been their MO. So being able to bring in this player is, to me, a reason why he is going to be a difference maker for that lineup. So when you look at the Milwaukee Brewers, their X factor to me is Jesse Winker. Now, when we look at the Pittsburgh Pirates, the player that is going to be most significant, the most important player is Brian Reynolds. The fact is, is that whether the Pirates keep him all season or whether they trade him away, this is going to be the X factor for this franchise. If they trade him away, what kind of package are they getting back for him? How many top level prospects can the Pirates actually acquire for the services of this player? And if they decide to not go down that trade avenue, if they decide to keep him, how much is he actually going to, how much of an effort is he actually going to give on the field for this team. I I, re I really wonder what could possibly be the motivation for a player that has already stated that he wants to be traded off the team. What kind of motivation does he actually have? Is it going to be trying to prove it himself to be able to make himself an interesting commodity to other teams? Or is it going to just be, I'm mad, I'm gonna just not play to my level of capability and We'll have to wait and see how that kind of plays out. But for that reason, Brian Reynolds, to me, is the X factor for the Pittsburgh Pirates. And as we round out this list alphabetically, we go with the St. Louis Cardinals. Their X factor is going to be Wilson Contreras. Now, it's going to be a twofold part here for Contreras as to why he is the X factor for the Cardinals. First and foremost, and the, to me, the biggest reason why is he is replacing the legend that is Yadier Molina. When you look at the Cardinals, when you think about the Cardinals, you think Yadi Molina over the last decade and a half, two decades of play for this team. And now they're going to be replacing that with the second reason why, to me, he is the X factor for the Cardinals, the player that is jumping over from the rivalry against the Cubs, Wilson Contreras. This is going to be a player that absolutely is going to make an impact that 
is going to be felt by Cardinals fans one way or another. Yes, there's going to be a negative impact in terms of his defensive ability compared to what Yachty had, but there's going to be an offensive upgrade for the Cardinals uh, backstop now compared to what they've had the last several years with Yadier Molina. To me, this is a guy who's going to fit in that lineup perfectly and really be able to be a presence in that order. Now, no, he's not going to be the gold glove caliber defender that Yadier Molina was. Nobody can be. But with defensive metrics kind of getting better, they're learning to position guys a little bit better, changing the way things are going. And if you just look at the way that the rules are kind of changing, we may be seeing robo umps in the next coming couple of seasons. So being able to kind of steal those low strikes balls just off the corner may not matter anyway. And at that point, defensive metrics are going to be a very, very even more difficult thing to try to calculate in terms of catching ability. So offensively speaking, this is going to be an upgrade for the Cardinals. To me, Wilson Contreras is going to be that X factor for the success of the St. Louis Cardinals. But I want to hear from you guys. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Or you can find me over on Twitter at Banter underscore baseball. And let me know who are the X factors for each team in the National League Central Division for this upcoming 2023 campaign. Let me know that down in the comments, like I said, or find me over on Twitter. You can also leave us a comment, reach out to us and follow us on our other social media outlets as Instagram and baseball and TikTok baseball banter broadcast is the name of both of those pages. If you want to show more support for us here, head over to our blog site, laracuenteledger.com. We write articles up daily on the world of Major League Baseball and many other things as well. And if you want to show even more support, head over to baseballbanterbroadcast.com, our merchandise shop. And you can use any one of the number of promo codes that we have to save on your banter merchandise. So I'm going to thank you guys for tuning in. If you haven't already done so, please smash that subscribe button as over 95% of our audience is not yet subscribed to this channel. So if you love the world of Major League Baseball, if you love hearing the latest news, notes, and my personal thoughts, theories, and opinions on the game, this wonderful game of baseball, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button and the bell for post notifications each and every time we drop a new broadcast here on the Baseball Banter Broadcast. So I will catch you guys on that next broadcast when we banter about the world of baseball. Peace. <music>